just a reminder most of my videos are typically long format videos so you can always watch the video in like 2x or you can google how to use uh, the google chrome console to turn it up to i think the max is 16x I mean, I think after a certain point, you don't hear any sound because it's just going too fast. But I mean, being reasonable, like, or, or trying to be reasonable anyways, yeah, it's kind of hard to expect somebody to watch a video for like five hours. Not that it's not possible, you know, you just put a video or make a video with uh, what's this called? You know, you, you make a long form video and people watch it with uh, you know, they just put it on in the background. I could put beds here. To get a few more leather workers in here. Because I see they still have food and they just tried to make a baby villager. But they couldn't because there wasn't a bed. So it's kind of a waste of the bread. But I mean, that's what, nine beds? Do I have more beds in here? Oh. And I gotta get this leather worker out of there. So I think I'm gonna try to send these two. I'm gonna put them back in here. But uh, I should put a fence gate on this. So the fence gate over here. I didn't even have to ring the bell. 
and I'm not sure how the food distribution works and uh, instead of throwing individual pieces of food I'm thinking that if I throw geez, if I throw um, what is it called if I throw like a whole stack of carrots in there
Why is hay bale not showing up? Oh, here it is.
You know, it looks like they don't eat when they're trying to, uh, they don't eat the grass when they're trying to eat the wheat. Makes it easy to go through and shear every one of them. Because they don't like to go in and try to shear them and then, like, you try to shear them and then freaking... I don't like to leave any of them unsheared before I leave the pen, is, is what I'm trying to say.
Hmm. I guess I can't get to it. So with nine bread, they should distribute the three between all three of them. And then make a, a villager. I uh, see. So now I've got space for nine villagers, but no, uh, no workbenches for them. And if I put the workbench here, they'll just jump into the other pen. So adding the extra beds without the extra workbench means that you just get generic villagers without a job. Which I am still kind of learning how to do this, so I didn't think about that. So, I mean, if I... I mean, I would have to pretty much tear up this whole thing to increase the amount of space for each section. Which, I mean, I don't have... I mean, it's, it's not really that much of a big deal. I just tear out, like if I leave all this stuff, because I'd have to tear this up if I wanted to extend it this way, but I can extend the range of the various jobs that way. And I've only traded with these guys a few times. And I'm going to have to get one up to, like, max level before they'll start selling me name tags. And crap. Well, let me throw some bread to the guys up top. So that one guy has nine bread. Oh, but he's distributing it. Okay, cool. I was going to say, so he's just going to hold on to the nine bread and not do anything. But... Come on, mega villager. You can do it. I only need to make three more job site blocks for those villagers that are Yeah, we have to make three more job site blocks for those villagers. Because they can only fit nine beds in there. So, I mean, how many of each individual type do I really need? And I don't think there's a way I could put the three blocks in there without moving everything else, so... Nah, I'm just gonna have to tear this up and add the three extra space, I mean... But if I'm gonna do that, 
How many blocks do I have? So I've got six. And I'd have to add three more beds. If I wanted to make it 12. I mean, I guess that'll work. No, but adding more beds to this would mean that I would have to, uh, these guys would lose their trading that I've already done with them. Which, thinking about, I don't think I really need to buy anything from a leather worker. The one I'm most interested in right now is the librarians because I kind of need them to sell me a name tag. I'm not sure if I could stack. Can I stack the, uh, the job site? I don't think so. I mean, I don't really want to have them stacked because I can jump on the job site block or the bed and move between the individual things without having to put a block up there. I mean, how many blocks am I going to have to expand this? I'm going to put three more beds. And then, what, three more cauldrons and have 12 in each section? And it would make a slightly better use of my space. I mean, these two, do they not lose their job if, even if you tear up the job site block? If you've already traded with them? I mean, I know if they grab another job site block, they will change their, uh, they will lose everything, but... So I need a one block gap. Well, I can just take this whole section down and then restructure it. And I 
I want to see if the same is true for these guys. Excuse me, guys. Pardon me. So it looks like the ones that I've already traded with keep their levels even if the job site block is gone. So that should be 12. Alright, one, two, three, four. No, that's more than twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I could just make the beds all in that direction. I mean, it doesn't really matter which direction I make them in. I mean, these guys are going to have their... Yeah, okay, so... One block, and then job site block. Guys, get out of the way. And I could probably put pumpkins in there. 
instead of torches because I'm gonna end up hitting all of the torches. And I need four more lecterns. Yeah, I don't know how to craft a lectern. So it's... What, bookcases? Or books, I have books. Do I need more half slabs? I should have everything that I need. Oh, okay. Gonna have to put in a minecart or something to get between here and the village. I mean, it's just far enough away to be too far for me to want to run, and a little bit too close and far away at the same time for me to want to put in a minecart. But it's just close enough to where I don't really want to use the portal either. Ah. Uh. 
Ma, ma, ma. Ha ma ha They're trying to get to the job site block.
Galera! Ma ah. 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 they making a villager I guess they did okay cool Ha 
meow, meow. Um, uh.
Um, uh, They are hmm of the hmm ha.
Let me get my cheat sheet here. I didn't make the cheat sheet, it's from the wiki page. Where are my... Let me scroll through my bookmarks here. Hmm. List of web sockets, Archon, Rust, no. I know I added the bookmark. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so... The armors, I need, I mean, I need all of them, I guess. I may as well make one for all of them. How do I make a blast furnace? I need iron, a regular furnace, and what looks like... Is it smooth stone, or is it... Regular stone. I think it's smooth stone. How do you make smooth stone? Do you cook it again? Is that how you make smooth stone? Seems like kind of a waste of a lava bucket, except the whole nether is full of lava, so not really. I mean, if it were coal, I, I don't think I would do it if it were coal. 
But I need a bunch of smooth stone fast just to make enough uh, of those blast furnaces. So I have one, I have three. So I have two over there, and no, I have three over there, so I have four, so I need eight. The one that I counted, so it would be three, I need one more. What am I missing? Iron? Did I just use all of my iron? Oh no. I did. A feature man. That might be the one that I probably never use. Oh, you can sell sticks to the Fletcher? He won't sell you flint though. Oh no, he will. It's. Uh, so he basically just guarantees that you're gonna get X amount of flint. So I do need a Fletcher. I mean, I'm making 12 of all of them. just to make sure that I've got them. So I should be able to make 12 grinding stones, which is that it's a stone slab. Is it a stone slab or a cobblestone slab? No, it's gotta be a stone slab. to go mining pretty soon mining for iron I mean I guess I could turn that thing on but I mean the zombies gonna despawn if I leave the area and I don't want to AFK on the video Expand this thing even more. 
And I'm just going to keep going in a straight line all the way down so I can get, you know, like a full inventory's worth of uh, sugar cane. Make it into paper for the librarians. No. I can't remember what I was moving. <laughs> yeah, I should probably go put these in over there. What was I getting from here? I need wood. You know something potentially gross that I just thought of is a block of spider eyes. That's nasty. I mean, I do know of a mine. I mean, it's unlikely that I'm going to find a... It's unlikely that I'm going to find a freaking oh, wrong portal then I'm gonna find a name tag just because I'm looking for a name tag Is this seriously the perfect length that I guess to go all the way up to you? Yes, yes it is. That's freaking lucky. So, blank space, bed, bed. No, it's not. Oops. I mean, I can have the beds up against this in this section. It's one block short. Because it should be space, bed, 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 space. Oh no, it is a perfect. So, space, bed, 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 bed. So this is where the fence gate goes. Oops. Oh. 
the ha um ha now with more um ha Fantastic. One point hmm or one part hmm two parts ha 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 No, how am I going to do this section? I mean, I... Hmm. Hmm, huh. I guess I should leave some blocks. And just repeat the same. Probably come over here so it's even.
No, it's working out pretty good. I mean, I'm really attempting to contain my excitement because I don't want to embarrass myself, but I just had to do, I had to mute myself and do a little happy dance there. <laughs> like, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I need more wood. Three, six, nine, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, just distribute that amongst yourselves, if you would, please. Thank you. to get in the go-kart meme. I can't remember what the name of the band is. My brain. I mean, now I have no way to get out to the trees that I planted over there where I originally had my walkway. I don't think that if I'm on the fence, I could jump up onto another piece of the fence. I guess I can put a doorway here. I guess. Hmm, herp, derp, herp, derpy, herp, derp, herp. It's actually a pretty good song. Despite it being a meme song. I mean, it was a song before it was used in the meme. I think it's something Slayers. Not the band Slayer, but... It's like, that's the band name, has the word Slayer in it. Bag Slayers? Okay, that's probably not right. Normally I burn this, but it's kind of close to my village. I might still burn burn it, maybe. But like, I don't see any more wood in here that I can see. I mean, this is kind of dark. There's probably wood over here. And the reason I didn't look it up, and I just thought of whatever my brain could remember was on the off chance that I'm wrong, or on the off chance that I'm right, I mean, it'd still be somewhat funny. 
Maybe, possibly. But I've never been good at remembering band names or the artists in the band or like... Like this seems kind of callous or kind of cold. Or somewhat disrespectful, but that isn't the case. That isn't my intention. I just can't remember crap. And then, you know, if you wanted to get, like, philosophical about it, I mean, the song kind of takes on an energy and, like, a power all its own, and, like, the song could be totally awesome, but, like, you know, people have a tendency to be disappointing. So, like, it kind of ruins my immersion of the whole process if, like, you know, you try to focus on the person or their name or the fame or like the hype or anything like pretty sure I got most of it I mean there's probably a chunk up in here It's so weird how the psychology of, like, video games work. And I, don't quote me on that. I mean, I could be wrong with the thing I'm about to say. Like, I don't want to be one of those TikTok people, TikTok psychologists. Psychology says. But I'm not saying that psychology says. I'm saying, like... Makes you think of the lady that debunks the stuff. She's an actual psychologist. Actually. Like. But basically it's my... The same thing I always think of. The same thing I always say. Which is like... I was about to complain about disliking chopping trees down that... You know, they turn into the big crazy tree. You have to hunt the wood blocks and it makes it difficult and I want to get like a... You can't put torches on the leaves. I wanted to get like a... Resource pack or something that makes the leaves transparent. I'm sure there's got to be another one up there. It might get creepered because I just noticed it's nighttime. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, jeez. They've come to enforce the guarantee. <laughs> anti cheerious choppings legislation. Okay, so it should all decay now. I mean, that's a big chunk of leaves that doesn't seem to be doing anything. So there's got to be a block of wood in there somewhere. Yeah. And I think it's what, like five blocks or four blocks in whatever direction there happens to be a chunk of wood. But back to what I was saying before I started saying the other thing about the thing that I was going to say about the thing that I was saying. Before I got zombied. Right after saying I was going to get creepered. Was this all just the same buttons? 
and different patterns of colored lights on the screen. And it's like, this is the bad pattern of colored lights and pushing the same buttons on the screen. I like the good, good patterns of light on the screen. And I like to push the good button. <laughs> just, just human brain things. Fisherman might be pretty useful. Like, I was gonna avoid him, but since I can sell him sticks. Oh no, the Fletch. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> oh my. That creeper came up and, uh,. Pooped right in my pants. I didn't do it, the creeper. It was a creeper. It wasn't me, it was somebody else. Normally I just put the top layer that is on the same layer as the ground to fill in a creeper hole and put a torch in there so monsters won't spawn, but nah, I, don't know, I just kind of felt like filling in the whole hole. And I want to leave that section dark because it's my zombie trap. Spider time. Yeah, there's got to be a chunk of wood in that section. <clears throat> Set one piece of wood holding all of those leaves together. Is there another one up here? No. Might be the longest time that I've spent without turning it to daytime. I'm jumping in a bed. I mean, it's usually just easier to move or uh, to not have to deal with the zombies and everything else by jumping in in the bed.
Zombie, zombie. Boom. I mean, do I really want to? I mean, I might have to turn the corner because I don't think this is enough blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, I get like really, really lucky with like how I design like I mean if I was gonna design it like this and like measure out the blocks and everything like I would have probably messed it up and I did it by accident that it just happens to be almost exactly perfectly the, the space that I need it to be based on how many beds you can fit and how much space with a one block between it I mean, I could put, I could like always put the work blocks up against the beds and save a block and still have one space around it, but, but yeah. The meow meow.
this is way cooler than I thought that it was gonna be. Like, especially because with enough emeralds, you could buy a full diamond set of armor, a full set of tools. Like, that's pretty awesome. The downside is I'm going to have to trade coal to the toolsmith to get the pickaxe. And he wants either, on the lowest tiers, he wants either emeralds or coal. And then he wants flint. And I don't think any of them sell me coal. They do not. And thank you, whoever the person was that put together this trading and bartering guide. It's a really, really well put together uh, infographic. What do I need for a Fletcher table? I need flint for that. Make a barrel. I'm gonna make a fisherman spot before I make that. I mean, I'm not really gonna use a fisherman. don't know how to generate coal. I don't think there's any way to get coal but to go out and mine coal. But it's worth it to level up the toolsmiths. I mean, once I get to iron, I can just keep trading them iron. So I'm going to have the iron farm going. Which I got to go do the, the paper farm. Come on already and be done raining. I'm guessing that's where the sun is. I mean, it's got to be getting close to being dark. It's made of bread. Made of bread. Can't get the bread. How many do we got over here? I guess I could feed these guys again. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So, two, four, six, is eight. Oops. No, that's right. So that 18 bread should be enough to be distributed amongst them. Uh, 
One, two, three. That's just still only three of them up here. One, two, three. Oh, I see the hearts going off, but I don't see... Okay, there we go. We got a baby villager in there now. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a cooldown. At least there should be a cooldown, I think. I don't think the other baby villager got out or despawned or anything. You know, there is a chance that it was standing underneath this part. And when it turned into the adult, it hit. Hmm. It hit its head. And it could also be that when they're standing here, they won't... Hmm. And these have to be here with this design, so...
I might have to replace these fences with uh, the glass to prevent them from falling through on the bottom. I mean, but it is a fence and it is transparent, so even if it grows up to be a, a large uh, adult villager, it should... Uh, It should, um... Shouldn't get stuck, I don't think. Like, it shouldn't suffocate in the fence gate. It shouldn't suffocate in the bed. In the meantime, I'm going to have to go mine some iron, which I enjoy mining. I really do. I should have just jumped off. And I think I am going to put an elevator over there. I'll put an elevator here for myself at some point. Oh, and back to the getting lucky with the the size of the village and the layout and everything else. Same thing happened with here where I just arbitrarily decided, eh, this looks good. And it ended up being right where I needed the uh, end of the staircase to go. Oh. We're gonna have your name tag pretty soon there, we saw. And this looks like it's mostly ready. Uh, again, I don't feel like doing it right now though. I don't want the video to end up being another five hour video. We snow. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm clicking the button right now.